Okay, Governor, let me stop you. This is a big deal. We've been talking for 40 minutes here, uh, and now you drop this bombshell on us. So I want to officially have your statement here. So let me give you the floor for a few minutes. Please start over and make the announcement, because my show's big enough uh, that it'll probably end up breaking nationally here that you say it on this show. Uh, so, Governor Ventura, uh, please make your announcement. Well, I said that if a grassroots effort... Not a money effort. I don't want millions of dollars raised, and I don't want to do all that. But if there's a grassroots blue-collar effort out there and people do the legwork to get Jesse Ventura on the 2016 ballot for president, and if, we, and if they can likewise guarantee me, because I've got to be in the debates, I won't do it if I can't have an opportunity to win. And the only way you can have an opportunity to win is you must be included in the debates. If they can guarantee me the debates and guarantee me ballot access in all 50 states, I will give very strong consideration to running for president in 2016 as a complete independent with no party. Wow. So you're announcing here today uh, on the radio that you will run for president. That's amazing because we've all been disheartened by the fact that Ron Paul didn't go third party. Uh, that he didn't challenge Mitt Romney more, uh, as we've now learned uh, from one of their campaign people, that, that they made the decision not to do that in Michigan months and months and months ago. Uh, and we need somebody third party to inject real issues. Well, I don't want to even be a third party, Alex. I'm talking about Jesse Ventura as a governor Ventura as an individual, not even a party. Me as an individual. Because my book advocates the abolishment of political parties. So I do not want to be aligned with any party. So you are a 100% independent, and you're saying get ballot access in... Get, get me ballot access in all 50 states, and I think Puerto Rico. Don't they vote, too? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what's the time frame on that, though? To get me ballot access in all 50 states to where I'll be on the ballot in all 50 states and guarantee me that I can uh, participate in the debates. I will then give heavy consideration to running when I see that's in place. When did you make this decision that you would throw your hat in the um, 2012 presidential race? 2016. But the 2016 one, not this one. No, no, I understand that. But, I mean, when did you make the decision in 2012? Well, I just kept looking at the whole situation and realizing that something needs to be done to defeat and destroy this two-party, as Ralph Nader put it, the two-party dictatorship. And, I, I, and, again, I'm up for challenges, and I think it would be just a wild affair to actually uh, be a legitimate candidate for president and be part of no political party. Well, we need someone who's got the personality, the background, and the understanding to do it. And there is no one out there. Ron Paul is going to be too old. Uh, and uh, there, there's no one else who even has the integrity. You know, I don't agree with every single one of your political stances, but I know that you're a real guy who cares about freedom and who can't be bought. I mean, I've studied what you did as governor, why the whole system came after you, why the whole media turned against you. And it was because you couldn't be bought by special interest. And that's what we need is somebody with integrity. So that's very, very exciting, uh, Governor. So you're well, saying... You know, it's interesting, Alex. When I was governor, I didn't accept any PAC money or anything at all, no special interest money. Did you know for four years in office, I never met once with a lobbyist? Lobbyists were banned from my office. I told my staff, I said, I don't need to meet with a lobbyist. I said, they didn't elect me, so therefore they get no audience with me. Jesse Ventura is our guest. We have a final segment straight ahead. Take a few calls uh, with him here on the other side. So you heard it. We're already looking out to 2016, which will be here in about five minutes. I tell you, the years go by so fast. So that's exciting. We're going to hold you to it and uh, try to get a, a movement going out there to get you ballot access so that you can run as a party. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?